Hi guys, welcome to MS Power Ultimate. In today's video, we will learn how to perform text manipulation by extracting data from PDF invoice. There are two parts. One is to extract all the general information and another one is to extract the, all the table items. Okay, so first of all, I would like to show you an example. So I have five different sets of PDF form. Both of, all of them are, has the same format. So let me open them. Okay, so, uh, all of these invoices contains the same information. So what we're going to extract is the invoice number, date, due date, bill to, contact, balance due, and the item, quantity, unit cost, amount, and lastly, subtotal, tax, shipping, and uh, total. So um, this, we call this as the table items, whereas this information here, and invoice, due date, date, balance and due to is considered as the general information so we're going to do one one part at a time find an action here called extract from pdf okay so i use the extract text from pdf right and okay so let me open one of these files and i click save so uh, first of all we also want to understand how power automate extract the text right and what is the output so after we use this action we try to run and let's see the output so it gave us a, a chunk of text where everything is in a new line format so but in order for us to get this invoice date and due date we have to know the index right because it's hard for it's hard to tell um where to find this invoice because there could be multiple ways where uh, over here we have uh, maybe let me open this right i put it into a notepad okay so maybe there could be a scenario where we have another contact here and then some information okay so that's why we try to split it into a new line okay so while well, um from here to split a new line here we can use a, a split text so the text that i want to split i pass in this data type and the standard delimiter is a new line and it will give me a variable called text list so let me run this again and then you will be able to understand what's the output. So as you can see here, there's an index. Okay, so from here it's easier for us, right? So we can use a for each loop to, to look through to get all these insets of information. Okay, so there's multiple ways to do this, but I'm going to do the most simplest way. Okay, since we have two parts, I'm going to create a subflow to actually just generate a uh, to, to just extract the general information okay so extract general info so from here right what i will do is for each item in the text list okay so from here if you take a look there is a pattern right always a new line i want to look for this value for each item, if the first operand, which is the current item, maybe I want to put it more, I will use a trim here. Trim contains this value, invoice, maybe I can just use this small case and then I put ignore case. Okay, if contains this, right, I'm going to get the value here. But how do I get here? So I have to use another split text, right? So I split it based on this colon. Then I'm able to extract this value. Okay, so I use a split text. And the text to split, I will use current item, a trim. And then I use standard. No, I'm going to use custom and I use this. And then the variable called here, I want to name it as uh, item list. Okay, so if you let me try to run this. Okay, my bad. I forgot to do one. Okay, I use one subflow. And I call this method. Okay, let me run again. Okay, I'm just going to stop here take a look at what's the output here. so you see 
the first index is inverse, the second index is this. We already got the number. So we can use this concept to actually extract the invoice date, due date, due contact, balance due, subtotal, tax, shipping, and total. Okay, so from here, right, we're going to use a set variable. And we're going to name it as invoice. And we call it as item list. And then it will be always at the second index. So the second index is at 1. Then we put dot 3. Okay, let me copy this and save. So you can repeat the same concept for the rest. But for this time, right, date for the date is very tricky because if I were to use if it contains date, it will actually override this date and also this date. Because both of them contain date. So we're going to put it an additional uh, uh, nested if condition. So we're going to use else if. We drag it on top of the end. Okay, if operand, we use as current item dot tree. Contains date. Okay, in no case, we click save, right? And then we're going to do the same thing. We split this text. Because at the end of the day, we just gonna, we're gonna keep, uh, keep splitting and get the value after this, right? So rather than we do both, we do it at one shot. Okay, so I put another if condition. If the current item dot trim. I put contains due date. It is in our case. I click save. Okay. If it's the due date, I already split the text right, but I want to get the variable. So let me copy this. If it's a due date, I trim it, but I want to set the variable here as due date. Then I drag an else. It will be date. Okay, so from here, I don't need this. And I don't need this as well because we already done it here. So this is what I'm trying to make just now. Okay, so, um, now we're going to make this more, uh, uh, robust where after we get this value, there's no point for us to keep continue looping because, uh, we're going to continue the next step, right? So we can use the next loop. We drag this next loop over here. Once we get this value, now we're at this row, right? If we already find this, we continue, continue, continue. And if we at this row, we already find this value. There's no need for us to do, to do all the remaining checks. We're going to continue to the next loop. So we should, we start from here onwards. Okay. So that's why we use this next loop. And then let me drag here. And let me drag here as well. Okay. So now so we're going to do the same thing for build two. Okay. I want to copy this else if again. And then I use a current item dot three. If it contains build two, in no case, I click save and then same thing. I will do a split text. And I name it as build two. Okay, you repeat this uh, the same following for for now we have build two, right? Contact balance due, 
And for subtotal tax shipping and total, we're just going to use a, a split by a space. Okay. Okay, so this is done. I'm going to run this flow and you'll be able to see all the data type generated from PD. Okay, it will take some time to look. Okay, so it's done. But if you take a look here, right, the text actually it extract this value, which we only want after the bracket. So we can change this. If you take a look here, right, it's actually extracting the 19%. So if you scroll down to text, we can actually change this split text by a custom and we use this open bracket. And we save, it will be able to extract everything. So now let's double check. Balance due. Balance due, we have the correct amount. Build to same and everything same. Date, 15 Jan, due date, and so forth. Okay, so this is, that's all for, 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 uh, part one. Okay, we're going to continue on the part two.